Avaz is a play about my mother's journey from Tehran to what I call Tehrangelis, California, formerly known as Westwood. My mother invites you into her home for the Persian New Year, Nowruz. So I wish you all a very happy 1402! <laughs> yes, I know, Iranian calendar, we're a couple hundred years behind. At its core, this play is about a, an experience of rebirth and joy and celebration. My mother did have a, a really intense time getting out of Iran, but it's also about sharing our humor and sharing our joy. And it's this larger than life fantasy that you're walking into. I'm Michael Cheyenne, and I am the playwright and star of Avaz. Is one store here in LA still, I think, I grew up with a single mom in Tehrangelis. We were sort of growing up together, I think. She was going to school at the same time that I was. Not always I was home. Most days I worked late, but we managed. Michael was strong. I mean, uh, together we held hands, rode bus, and walked to school. Some weekends, together we would sit, drink chai, make fruit, eat fruits, and, and make together homeworks. At the same time, you know, while I was in this Iranian community, I did feel like an outsider. I was queer, I was in the closet. Iran is one of a, a small handful of countries where homosexuality is a crime punishable by death. And I think those attitudes can still sort of trickle over into LA. I did not disown. I did not kick out. Only I ask, shh, not so loud. Okay, you want to be gay, be gay, but not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Be gay, but not. <laughs> you know? But no, Michael had to be a writer. <laughs> That's Farsi for unemployed. <laughs> and not just writer, play writer. Avaz for me has been a way to connect with my. Iranian heritage. I always loved our culture. And in writing plays, I could reclaim my story. You know, I could reclaim my identity on my own terms. I had interviewed my mother, and I just wanted to know more about her history. You know, my mother never really talked about Iran. It opened up something for her, and it let her talk about things that she'd never spoken about before. My mother is a really special person. She left Iran when she was 20 and she came to L.A. She was the first in her family to leave a couple years after the revolution. When I'm doing Avaz, it feels like I'm channeling my mother and I'm channeling her energy and her, her larger-than-lifeness. Please, it would be my greatest honor and pleasure to have you in our humble home. And you would say, no, 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 no. I am not worthy of your invitation to sit at your warm, loving table. My question is, what's behind that larger-than-lifeness? What's underneath the surface? I look her eyes and see behind them pain. Her pain looks same like mine, but still through pain, she dances. Still through pain, she sings. It really feels like an honor to be able to perform Avaz right now, especially given what's happening in Iran. People inside the country are saying, be our voice, share this story, tell the world um, that we are continuing the fight. Women, students, everyone are out on the streets fighting for Zan Zendegi Azadi, woman, life, freedom, and that's the last bit of Farsi I want to teach you tonight. This play is a tribute to my mother and to her story. It's my way of embodying my mother's history, embodying her culture, embodying her past, and coming to terms with it in a different way.